Hey mom, it's me, Andy, your favorite son. Uh, I'm gonna sh today I'm gonna show you how to upload photos and uh, make a little photo book in Walgreens website. So this is the website. Uh, what you do is you go to photo, go to photo, and you go to photo book because that's what we're making, right? If you don't want a photo book, you go to prints. But otherwise, you go to photo books. You go to photo books. This brings up. What do you want? I don't know. You figure it out. Let's do the classic photo book because that holds up to hunt and we don't want that many pages. Let's do this one. Same day pickup. Eight by five eleven window cover book. Alright. Twenty five dollars. Let's do it. Let's go. Alright, so this is the general idea of it. Get created now. And you're thinking this loads up. So there's no photos because you haven't uploaded any. So what you do is you click upload over here in the corner. You see upload. It brings up a window. You're like, oh, where, is, where, where do I do it? Where do I? You just don't worry about this. Don't worry about this. This is a date. This is a fast upload. That's fine. Remove it. Whatever. You don't. You don't need all this. So just go select photos. Here you go to photos, and you'll be like, well, where's my photos? Well, typically they'd be on the desktop because that's where we've been saving them. Do some quick photos. Let's do do some quick photos. There's there's me and Mary. There's a cat. There's there's a husky. All right. Here's our photos. So, once that's done, this shows up. These are your photos. That's your album. These are your selected photos. Choose to resize them, delete them, whatever. Click the photos. These are selected photos. So, you pick all the photos you want. Once you've done that, you click next. And it says, well, What do you want? You want to cover? And you're like, uh, I don't know. And you're like, Yeah. Okay, okay, this is the cover. This is the standard cover. You don't really have to mess with this. Hit next. This one you pick the backgrounds. Maybe you want maybe you want to do this. Maybe you want to do this. I don't know. Pick the backgrounds of your book. Okay? And it's for every page. Oh, I like this one. Let's do this one. I like that. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna hit next. And then it wants you to personalize the book. Uh, embellishments, whatever. Get started. No, no thanks, I'll do it. So this is what we're gonna do. This is the cover. This is the, f the front page cover. Take that photo, you drag it, and you put it in right there. Right? And you can add text. Once you hit this button right here. This is the cover. Why it changed. Oh, it, it looks like crap. So you hit, you hit this button again, edit caption. Like that. Or maybe you don't have to like it. Maybe just go in here and just I want it here. And yeah, there it goes. You can change the font. You can change There's a there's a there's a font named after me? Okay, cool. This is the cover. Okay. Then you go on the next page. Show the photos here. I mean, you can add text to these too. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you have more photos, you can add more photos. It doesn't matter. If you don't have more photos, if you're done with photos, if you've added all the photos you want to add, just go next. And it's like, you want to fill it up, obviously. But obviously, there's more. But I don't want to fill it up because I only want three pages. So this is, this is a preview of what it is. And then, if you want to save it and work on it later, you just hit the save button right here. Got a save disc on it. Kids even know what a save disc is? I don't think so. But you just hit that to save it for later. And But if you're done, you hit add to cart, and you go through the whole buying process of ordering it, and then you pick it up the same day. See, that wasn't so hard. If you want to make multiple, you can hit multiple right here. If you want... Four by six prints of the three photos from the book in the order? Do you want that? You can add that, but you don't have to. Alright, so that's it. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, you know where I live.